We are gracing Times Square at AMC with culture and diversity and inclusion and Urban World is all about being a platform for creative content. For the 20th anniversary, man, you yes. know, it's incredible. That allowed everybody was welcoming. I remember vividly coming to a festival just like this. This is a community and we all have to like work together and support each other. Every grain in my body told me that I had to tell this story. Based on the um, Islamic uh, Sharia law, which essentially states that um, that a victim's family has the right to either pardon um, or execute the killer. One of the biggest decisions was deciding this film is going to be sort of documentary style, rugged, handheld, dirty, texturized. So we had three cameras, um, we had kind of all the action happening at the same time and cameras sort of documenting this whole experience. I'm just really grateful that Urban World is screening our film and, um, you know, to Revolt for hosting us and it's just been a really incredible experience so far, yeah. Hurricane Katrina was devastating as a storm and as a flood, um, but the more significant tragedy was really what happened to people when they attempted to return home. We were in the Ninth Ward um, in New Orleans, uh, looked, and I was standing in front of a house that was my house that I was losing. The only thing that she still has is her job. And so it's basically about this young woman, Rose, as she attempts to navigate uh, hiding her indigence in the depths of her poverty from the people she works for, as well as hiding her employment from the people she lives with. It's about what, uh, what can happen when we start to use pain and catharsis um, to draw semblances to each other, as opposed to uh, disparity. I wonder. Well, well, well. When you say that it's, there's no dialogue, you know, I think a lot of people think silent film type of era, but when you watch it, it's, it's like, like poetry. It, it, and with the music and the sound design, it all kind of tells the story as well. An aspiring Olympic athlete who wrongly gets convicted of a crime and it kind of follows his journey and how that, you know, life-changing event really affected his life. A lot of hats. You do craft services, you, you know, do production design, you do whatever needs to be done. But um, the beautiful part of that too is, you know, you really, it's a very intimate process, it's a very collaborative process. And so, um, you know, for that short period of time where you're together working, you know, you really become like a family. We love to constantly push the bar and just figure out our place in this conversation of film and, and art. And so Urban World has so much to do, so much to contribute. And the only way that we can do it is the support of the community, the support of the industry, and definitely the support of the filmmakers who keep creating content so that we can keep showcasing it.